Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Allah says in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 208, O believers, O people of faith, enter into Islam completely and wholeheartedly. Udkhulu fi silmi kafa. Wa la tattabiu khutuwata shaitan. And do not follow the footsteps of Satan, for he is adu mubin. He is a clear enemy for mankind. This is a very important verse for all of us to understand. And if we look at it, we will see that this verse is not addressed to non-Muslims. This verse starts with, Ya ayyuha ladhina amanu. O you people who believe. O you people who have faith. O you people who are Muslims. Udkhulu fis silmi kafa. Enter into the state of Islam completely and wholeheartedly. This can be understood in two different ways. One, O Muslims, enter into Islam completely because some Muslims have not entered into Islam completely. There are some people among the Muslims who even though they pray and fast and do the actions of Muslims, who have Muslim names and Muslim behaviors, who are raised in Muslim fa families, and yet they're, they are not truly Muslims, they have not yet entered into Islam. So Allah is telling them, enter into Islam completely. You cannot enter into Islam half-heartedly or partially, but you must enter into Islam completely. That is because these people, even though they are doing the actions of Muslims, do not have true Iman in their hearts. Their actions are not devoted to the sake of Allah sincerely and wholeheartedly. Perhaps they are doing actions for the sake of appearance, so that people will see them and believe that they are good people or good Muslims when in fact in their hearts they are not. And so Allah is saying, O oh, you who are among the believers who have not truly entered into Islam, enter into Islam now. Do not follow in the footsteps of Satan. And there is another meaning of this verse, which is, O oh, you who believe, O oh, you who do have Iman, Perhaps your Iman is not complete to the level that it should be. So enter into Islam completely and wholeheartedly. There are many people who are true and sincere Muslims, but they're lacking some aspects of Iman. Maybe they are not willing to make some of the sacrifices and effort to be true to Islam, even though they know in their hearts that it's necessary for them. So this verse is addressing some people who are among the Muslims, who seem to be Muslims, who are not yet truly Muslims in their hearts, and is also addressing uh, those of us who may be sincere Muslims and may be trying to follow Islam, but we still have some aspects of non-Islamic beliefs and practices which we have not yet given up, and Allah is asking us to make the sacrifice, and to give up those things which we may believe, and not follow into the footsteps of shaitan. Now once again, this verse is being addressed to Muslims. It's saying to Muslims, do not follow into the footsteps of shaitan. Now shaitan, Satan, as we know, was among the angels. He was a jinni, but he was among the angels of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he disobeyed Allah. Allah commanded him to bow down to Adam, whom he created with his own hands, and he refused. And he said, uh, You've created him from clay and you've created me from fire. And fire is better than clay and so I'm not going to bow down to that person. This illustrates the importance of understanding the meaning of Iman and faith. There are a lot of Muslims, unfortunately, who think because they believe in Allah, they say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, that after that they do not have to enter into Islam completely and wholeheartedly. But they can give up some of the practice of Islam and, not, and neglect them and not practice them. But if Iman, if faith, only meant that you know there's only one God and you know that He's your Creator and you acknowledge that, or you acknowledge, for example, that the Prophet, is your, Prophet Muhammad is your uh, messenger, that that's complete and total Iman, then you are misguided. Because who could have known Allah better among us than Shaitan knew? Shaitan who spoke directly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to Allah spoke directly to him. He knew fully 
Allah's attributes and perfections. He knew the greatness of Allah and saw it in ways that none of us can even imagine. And yet, despite that, he arrogantly chose for himself that he would decide which of Allah's commandments he would follow and which ones he uh, would not follow. And so, Allah gave him a certain commandment and he doubted the wisdom for Allah of that commandment and said, oh, I am better than to obey that commandment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So shaitan refused to do one commandment of Allah, to bow down. And because of that, he was rejected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forever and ever. And shaitan is striving to lead us all astray, to prove to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, our, our uh, inability to be true Muslims. So it is necessary for all of us as Muslims to not follow into his footsteps, to not let our own mind and our own reason uh, be the judge, but to let Allah's revelation in the Quran and in the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, judge our actions and to follow those actions to the best of our abilities. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.